In August 2021, I received an email from Analog Man notifying me that I was at the top of the waiting list for a King of Tone overdrive. This was a pleasant surprise as in all honesty, I'd completely forgotten that I'd put my name on the list about a year and a half, two years earlier, I'd had the opportunity to play through my friend Mark's King of Tone through his rig and was obviously suitably impressed to put my name on the waiting list. The price that Mike Piera sells these for is actually very reasonable and not at all hyped despite the crazy demand for these pedals. Now, a King of Tone is perhaps not what you would call cheap, but I do think that it's testament to Mike's integrity that he hasn't responded to the hype that has built up around them, as we see happen quite a lot these days with certain coveted pieces of gear, and has stuck to his guns and devised a fair system whereby, within reason, anybody can attain one of these if you're just willing to wait for one. So I was very pleased to receive the unit when it arrived here in England and it went straight onto my small pedal board, which is what I use for all of my day-to-day -day gigs. Fast forward to May 2022 and Rev Amps announced the release of the Sean Tubbs signature overdrive pedal, the Tilt OD. Now, it is no secret that Sean has been my favorite guitar player on the planet since I stumbled across his what was then sparsely populated YouTube channel in around 2010, 2011. So obviously I didn't hesitate to order one and what's more, I didn't hesitate to order one of the hand side ones because I'm a big nerd. But when the pedal arrived, I was in the middle of a big run of shows and so didn't have a chance to plug it in for a few weeks. However, when I finally got around to it, I was blown away and within about a month, I had sold my Analog Man King of Tone on Reverb. So why, for me, was this pedal the one to dethrone the King of Tone? I'm gonna to give you four reasons right now. Number one, touch sensitivity. This is a really dynamic overdrive pedal. For me, the way that it responds to pick attack is much more akin to an amplifier than it is to an overdrive pedal. It reminded me a lot of the experience of plugging into something like a Friedman Dirty Shirley, where it just feels great under your hands. There is a really broad tonal palette available to you just dependent upon how hard you are picking. This is my clean sound. Is my PV Classic 50 and here is the tilt. Number two, the tilt EQ. With just two knobs, the boost section of this amp is deceptively simple looking, but don't be fooled, this is a surgical tool for your tone. The Tilt EQ allows you to boost one end of the frequency spectrum while simultaneously cutting the other. For example, as you turn the Tilt EQ knob counterclockwise, you will be boosting highs and you will be cutting lows, and the same is true or vice versa, when we turn it clockwise, we are going to be rolling out some of those highs and boosting some of those lows. This all seems to be focused around the mid range, which means that the whole sweep of the pot is completely usable. This feature is a fabulous way of tightening up a rhythm tone, or alternatively fattening up a lead sound. Currently the drive side is set where it was on the previous musical example, at the moment the Boost control is at 12 o'clock and the tilt EQ control is at three o'clock. So this is gonna be a little more filled out in the low mids. And with the tilt EQ rolled back to nine o'clock. Prior to his work with Carrie Underwood touring, Sean spent most of his life as a studio session musician, so it makes 
perfect sense that he would specify a feature like this on his signature overdrive it really is optimized for workflow because you can dial in whichever guitar you're using to fit that specific overdub just using that one control number three the boost itself so one of the biggest reasons for me letting go of my king of tone was that I wasn't crazy about how the two sides interacted with each other. I loved the sound of the drive side. I thought it was really open sounding and great, but I felt like everything got smaller, everything got more compressed, and it, it didn't feel so good when I had both sides on at the same time. Now, obviously, this is personal preference, personal experience. I know loads of you guys who absolutely love your Kings of Tones, and it is a great pedal. However, for me, the way that this pedal was voiced, I absolutely loved the way that the two sides interacted with each other. One of my favorite features of this pedal is simply its openness, and we don't lose that when we have the two sides running in series. To demonstrate this, here is just the drive side. <laughs> Here is the boost engaged at the same time. So this is with the Tilt EQ back about um, three o'clock, which is kind of like where I have it set when I'm just sitting and sort of playing for my own enjoyment. Um, usually what I would do is sort of start rolling the tilt EQ counterclockwise if I'm doing stuff where I'm ceasing it in the track with lots of the guitar parts. So for example, I might roll it back to 12 o'clock. Finally, number four, options. Um, there's been situations where I've been working on putting guitars on a track for somebody, and this has been the only pedal that I've used in various different configurations. So we can use just the drive side. And we have a lot more of that available on tap. So this would be with the gain at about two o'clock. <laughs> You can also use just the boost side of the pedal to push the front end of your amp. So here is the amp, here is just the boost. You can even run the boost after other overdrive pedals. Here I have a Simvatec number no. 5 drive, and I could run the boost after this. So for me personally, the Tilt OD did everything that I wanted my King of Tone to do and then some. So I've had no seller's remorse since letting my King of Tone go. Great pedal as it is. But let me know what you guys think. Do any of you own one or the other or both? Have you had the chance to compare them? Which one do you prefer? What are your experiences? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys for another video. Take care guys.